the good thing about having the garage. So I listened to that while unloading this, having some dinner in my garage, which is weird. But anyways. Hey guys, welcome back to Gas Tax. I'm Warwick, and you're watching the Dream Garage Build. Well, it's late, as you can see, but I have my new garage cabinets not these ones, ones over here, arriving in a couple days. So that means I'm gonna organize all of this stuff because this just wasn't working out for me. Gotta remove it all, clean this wall out, and that's the beginning of this. So stay tuned and check it out. Got off uh, Rob Ferretti's a live broadcast while he's having a tequila and chat. I like that idea. It's a good thing about having the garage. So I listened to that while unloading this, having some dinner in my garage, which is weird. But anyways, um, here's the progress. Feels like you know, one step forward. Sorry, I'm trying to get it feels like one step forward and 20 steps back right now. Because oh. now I've just got crap everywhere when this place is spick and span, but yeah, that means I just got a lot of shit hiding. So this is the thing I'm removing. I need to remove those, move the fans. I'm not gonna do that tonight. But the previous owners must have had some extra slab of slate. I don't know where they use this, because I don't recall it anywhere in the house. These things weigh about 150 pounds a piece, which is crazy. They have solid chunks of... <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But anyways, right now I'm gonna see if I can unscrew this. Maybe too late, it's 9.30, my kids are sleeping. But it looks like it's just a screw line down here and a screw line down here. I would assume there's a lot more. It's not sitting on this ledge. It's actually floating on the wall. I would assume there's a lot more screws because of this slate. So, good thing I got my low creepers. I can just creep around the garage and see if I can uh, take it out.
I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, that's all like extra towels and stuff that came with the house. So that's why it's on one, one side of the lift. Need to figure out a place in my house for that stuff. I still need it. This is just random stuff I need to sort out. So this is where the cabinet was taken out. Uh, unfortunately, clearly when they did the garage floor, they didn't go all the way back there, which is somewhat annoying. Um, but that being said, the cabinet, let me just stand there. The cabinet is 132 inch, so it's 77 inches right below these outlets, thank goodness, because I just installed them. And then 30, 136 inches that way. Both the fans need to move. And then there's an opening like this in the middle. So there'll just be a little bit of, of that showing. These other cabinets are wall mounted cabinets. So I will be doing the correct wall mounting, unlike Jimmy Riggin, the Sonic stuff, or that's the plan. Because the plan is to do a comparison between them. And that comparison also comes down to uh, ease of installation. Uh, these ones weren't that easy. Firstly, they don't have a wall mounted option. Uh, secondly, these little feet are welded on. And then thirdly, I had to put these extensions on. So that was annoying, but hopefully the quality speaks for it. Uh, and I'll be getting these, as you can tell, I'm pretty whew, cooked. It's only what, 10 o'clock at night. But yeah, so I think that's, as soon as this is done, then my garage is done. The rest of the stuff is not gonna be dream garage build. It will just be fixes here and there, changes here and there. But I'm also glad that the wall is painted behind you. It's a bit different color, but I'm not gonna worry about painting that because uh, you won't see where my legs are. And then the backdrop is all the same color as the rest of the garage. I will take all these signs down. So yeah, thanks again for tuning in and hopefully this is all worth it.